closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Beef Producers. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Great Tastes is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture, Food and Rural Development. Welcome to the great outdoors and great tastes of Manitoba. We are in the backyard with Barkman. My name is Des Daniels, your host. And today we are outdoor grilling with beef. We have Adriana Barros here, Manitoba Beef Producers. Hello. Hello. And of course, Ben Rush, we welcome you back and a product expert with Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries. Uh, what do you guys think of the setup out here? This is unbelievable. Absolutely beautiful. Grilling paradise. Pretty fantastic. We got the beautiful river in the backyard. And uh, thank you very much, of course, to Barkman Concrete, who built this amazing uh, outdoor kitchen for us. We're going to put it to work in just a second. Adriana, why don't you tell us uh, what are we making today? We are busy on the grill. We're so excited. This is Manitoba Beef Producers' first barbecue show. We're starting off with rotisserie top sirloin roast with a homemade barbecue sauce. Then rotisserie. Moving rotisserie. Nice. Really great. And then moving on to our Korean short ribs. Also on the grill, great savory and sweet um, short ribs with a hint of sesame flavors. And to finish things off today, we have a cheese stuffed um, beef burger. Absolutely delicious. All meat and cheese, gluten free, it's delicious. Pretty much perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, but here you are again, Ben, with the with the beef. So oh thoughts, boy. questions, queries? Yeah, just about the sauces that you're going to be using. Like uh, you're using barbecue sauces and marinades and stuff. And I'm wondering if it's kind of the uh, the sweet and savory, or kind of a combination of the two. Um, this barbecue sauce is kind of a traditional barbecue sauce. You'll have sweetness from our tomato um, sauce, a little bit of um, a kick from our balsamic that's going to be in there as well as a, a bit of uh, paprika, which will kind of yep. give it a smoky, nice flavor. So. Awesome. Have fun. I will. See you later. You bet. All right. So uh, beef and grilling really kind of like peas and carrots, only better. And uh, we have we're starting with a rotisserie today. So uh, that what, is right. What what is our pick as far as um, what do we what are we actually barbecuing today? Today we have um, a top sirloin rotisserie roast. So um, for the rotisserie, I try to chew, I go to my butcher and I just try to ask for something that's well tied that's going to um, cook evenly on our rotisserie because it's going to be on our rotisserie spit um, evenly. Um, you know, turning mm -hmm. with the you know indirect heat um, and we want it just to all kind of cook at the same time so something that is um, similar to an oven roast so here we have the top sirloin you could also use a prime rib um, these are nice tender really great cuts of meat juicy very juicy wonderful or you can move to um, a basic oven roast where you could be working with an inside or outside round or a sirloin tip roast would also work just as fabulous. Okay, well let's get started. Absolutely. So um, first things first, we're going to pierce our roast with um, a fork. So okay. um, I'll let you um, go ahead okay. and start with that. So okay. what that's doing is just... So how much um, violence or how much... Force you know, should we be exerting? Get right yeah. In there. Yep. Okay. Because we want our marinade to really go in there, flavor our, our roast inside as well as um, the exterior. So I'll start with our marinade here. I have just a lager beer okay. um, in our freezer bag. I'm going to add some brown sugar. So that's a little bit of the sweetness that's going to go into there. Right. Um, I have some ketchup, and um, that is one of you know basic ingredients when you're making a homemade um, barbecue sauce. So our marinade is not only you know. Our marinade but it's also going to double as a homemade barbecue sauce all right which is great so here's some balsamic vinegar so you kind of have everything for a perfect you've got beer you've got ketchup that's you know. right we have some dijon mustard so good um flavor with that good hint of mustard and also pretty standard uh barbecue sauce ingredient we have some garlic garlic and then we have some um paprika that is a ton of paprika. It is three tablespoons. Okay. All of our um, our recipes are on GreatTasteMB.ca, so you can get those later. So I'm just gonna, you know, mix this up a little bit, and then we can go ahead and get our roast right into um, our bag. And okay. then this is going to go ahead and be refrigerated for two to four hours because this is a nice premium cut roast. Can I help with that? Sure. We'll you know what you're doing. All pull right. Pull this out of here. That was helping get that in there. So just put this to the side. 
seal this up and then that will just sit in our refrigerator. If you are using the inside or outside round um, or sirloin tip, you want to keep the, this marinated for 12 to 24 hours. A little so bit just longer. Just a little bit longer. Yeah. All right. So I'll give that to you. We'll get that in the fridge right away. Okay. Um, I have started on our barbecue over yes. here. Let's see. So this is uh -huh. what it looks like. Very delish. And then I also have over here our barbecue sauce. And Mother Nature just added a little leaf oh, in there yeah. for us. But that's okay. She's pretty windy today. <laughs> All right. So um, this is our barbecue sauce. And we're going to just um, baste our roast. You know, once every... I don't know, 30 minutes. You don't need to do too too much of the basting. I have in our uh, rotisserie a thermometer and our, I'm cooking our roast today to medium rare. So I'm gonna be taking it off our rotisserie spit at 140 Fahrenheit. And you have a nice crust on there. So did you kind of cook that at a bit of a higher heat and then turn it down or how does that? What I did, yes, is I had our, um, our barbecue going at a high heat. So it was about, you know, 375 Fahrenheit and then I let it go for about 20 minutes and then we turned it down to 300. To 300 mm -hmm. and that's kind of where it stays. All that's right. right. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, barbecue rotisserie top sirloin. It's gonna be scrumptious. We're gonna cut it up in just a minute. And when we come back, we're going to do Korean barbecue beef short ribs right here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Agriculture, Food and Rural Development.